Uh, so the first part, let's talk about processes. So um, I, I like to think about this section as, as, as what does all this stuff do? Uh, so if you ever install a Tableau server or you ever need to configure a Tableau server, you might be presented with a, with a view like this. This shows you effectively all the processes that make up Tableau server and the status of those processes. So in this case, you've got a lot of green ticks, so everything is good and healthy. Um, but you can see there's there's a lot of stuff there, and it can be a little bit uh, bewildering when you first when you first see it. Now you might actually wonder why does it matter? Um, when I first installed Tableau Server, everything everything worked for me fine. Um, I was a, I was a Tableau customer at the time. Um, I didn't really need to to kind of dig into any of the details about what all the components did. Um, everything just everything just worked nicely for me out of the box. But as time goes on, you might find uh, you're in some, one of several situations. Uh, you might need to scale up your deployment. So possibly your usage of Tableau in your organization is taking off. Uh, you're having more users. Those users are engaging more with content. Um, and you find that you actually need to add additional hardware to support those users. Um, now, as you would add additional hardware, uh, it's good to know what the various parts of Tableau server are doing so that they can best use that hardware. In a more complex scenario, you might want to scale out your deployment. Um, so perhaps you're growing even further and you actually need to add additional service to Tableau. Um, this might be because you want to, again, serve a larger user base, or perhaps you have specific requirements about uh, disaster recovery uh, or resiliency of your, resiliency of your solution if, if, one of your, if one of your servers was to fail. Yep, so that's uh, essentially what we, what we discussed before. You want to plan disaster recovery. Uh, so there's certain key components of Tableau Server that are, are required for Tableau Server to run. Um, and there's certain components that, whilst not optional, um, are, are, less, are less critical for, for disaster recovery purposes. You might also find that something's running slow. Um, perhaps your users are reporting that the dashboards are loading, uh, loading slowly. Uh, perhaps some of your, your background tasks are taking a while to complete. Um, and again, it's good to know what, what kind of various component is responsible for which task. Uh, so you can, you can diagnose and remedy that issue. And finally, something might break. Um, Tableau Server itself is, is very resilient, but there might perhaps be a change in your, your environment. Uh, perhaps you might have an issue with a particular server. Perhaps a, a credential for a user account have been reset. Perhaps you have an, uh, an issue with a security certificate. There can be a number of things that go wrong in any complex software deployment. Um, so again, it's really good to have the understanding of, of what, what Tableau Server does to, to diagnose those issues. Now, if, if you're lucky, uh, you might find that whatever breaks uh, presents itself uh, very uh, clearly within your, within your uh, Tableau Server admin views, um, and you can very clearly, uh, you can diagnose the issue from there. But you might find the issue that you come across is, is more complex and perhaps slightly more subtle. Um, in which case, you're going to be having to dig through a lot of log files. Um, now, this is the, the rather scary view that you're presented with when you look in the folder that contains the log files on Tableau Server. Um, each one of these folders is a log file for a separate process. And when I first tried to diagnose a, a Tableau Server issue, I was simply trolling through each of these folders trying to find something that contained an error. Um, it took a long time and it wasn't particularly productive. Um, but now that I have a bit of a deeper understanding of, of what process does what, um, and I can very quickly go to the log files that I, I know I'm interested in. Um, it makes the whole makes the whole process of debugging it uh, debugging it slightly easier. So here's a slightly less scary view of all the processes that make up Tableau Server, uh, organized into different functions. So we can we can clearly explain and kind of uh, add some context to what what each of these do. Uh, so this is actually a diagram from a a resource which Tableau make available called Tableau Blueprint. Um, if, if any of you are new to Tableau or if you've been using Tableau for years, I, I, I highly recommend I highly recommend viewing, viewing Blueprint. Um, there's lots of great information in there, how, how to configure servers, how to diagnose issues, how to scale your solution, uh, how to plan your deployment and really kind of uh, develop into a, to a data-driven organization. Um, it, is a, it is a great resource. So if we go in through these tiers, the first, the first tier of services that you might be interested in uh, is what we call the what we call the user tier. Now, the user tier is anything that, uh, as the name suggests, uh, a user of your Tableau server interacts, interacts directly with. So this is something that they actually see in the, in the front end itself. And it's very easy for us to, to actually show examples of what these services look like and the services they deliver. But before we go into uh, these individual components, the first thing we probably need to talk about is the gateway. 
Uh, now, if uh, anybody in call is a bit of an IT geek like me, uh, the gateway is based on a, a piece of software called Apache, which is a, a web server, which is an extremely commonly used piece of uh, piece of technology, um, and that controls the user access to each of these five components that you see below, along with some other uh, some other components under the hood. So whenever you're actually accessing one of the one of the user components of Tableau Server, you're actually going through this uh, going through this gateway. 